Nigeria. Yesterday, February 3rd, 2021, Nasir El-Rufai, the governor of Kaduna State, made a broadcast and called for the arrest of uh, Sunday Igbohu uh, for giving out a quick notices to people of a certain ethnic group and also called on elected and public officials to act and speak in ways that promote peace and unity. Now, Nasir El-Rufai does not have the moral authority to make that call because hardly anybody has made more damaging statements that affect the peace and unity of Nigeria than Malam Nasir El Rufai. You may recall that on September 8, 2014, Nasir El Rufai falsely accused Christians of being behind Boko Haram. You know, he made it in a tweet, it was also in the papers. I mean, you can research it, please do not take my word for it. I encourage you to research it. Now, this is a man whose son, on April 24, 2019, called the killing of Igbo's sweet. The killings of Igbo's sweet. Bashiru, El Rufai. Now, if he wants to, if he's calling for the arrest of son Igbo, why wouldn't he first call for the arrest of that his son? I mean, it's, 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 I don't know, is it that we have short memories in this country? This was a man on July 15, 2012. He promised revenge for Fulani headsmen. He released a tweet, and which was um, uh, quoted in the media widely, saying that any soldier who touches the Fulani is taking a loan that is going to be repayable no matter how long it takes. Is that the kind of man that you'll be making threats and calling for people's arrest? 2017, certain northern youths gathered in Kaduna where he is the governor and gave Igbo's quick notices. Have they been arrested? I want you to research it. The Attorney General of the Federation, the Attorney General, Malami, released a statement saying that they could not be arrested due to security implications, his exact words. I want you to research it. Now, Sunday ago, it's not that I sanction what he's done, but if the federal government and if Kaduna wants to do anything, then first and foremost, they should ensure justice. Sunday Bobo is a reaction to the injustice in the country, where herdsmen come, they kill, they rape, they pillage, and nothing is done to them. It's with impunity. I'll give you a very good example. My personal assistant lost his father. His father was buried at Fuga in Edo State. Now, his uncle came from America, Atlanta, to attend the funeral. And then he was abducted by headsmen. They asked for 14 million. We all gathered around, looked around. The 14 million was raised. And what happened? Two days ago, we found his dead body. Prince Abuda. This is a philanthropist who's been doing good, who's been helping people in Nigeria and helping Nigerians in America. He was killed. You know, after collecting the ransom, nothing has happened. They don't know who to arrest. And Nasir Rufai is now saying that Sunday Ibu, who is protecting people from these kinds of headmen, should be arrested so that the headmen can continue to kill at random. So you've got to think about it. If we as leaders want peace in this country, there is going to be no peace without justice. There will be no peace without justice. So I urge Nigeria to circulate this message so that Nasir El Rufai's misinformation does not get believed by the northern masses. Because you know, it's easy for someone like Nasir El Rufai to deceive the northern masses because they don't have access to a lot of this information. Nasir El Rufai, even as governor, has made horrible statements saying that even if he made the Pope, his running mate, Christians will never vote for him. I want you to research that. Don't take my word for it. Nasir El Rufai made that statement. There have been killings of Christians, a program going on in Southern Kaduna. What has Nasir El Rufai done? How many people has he arrested? Instead, Nasir El Rufai admitted that he paid headsmen money. He paid headsmen money with public money. And the killings continued unabated. So fellow Nigerians, we need peace. We need unity. But to achieve that, we need justice. Thank you for watching. God bless you.